Welcome to Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013. Our trip to the show this year is powered by Corsair, maker of quality PC components and peripherals. Our trusted storage partner is Seagate Technology, and our trusted networking partner is Linksys. We've got Jeremy from Sony Mobile to tell us about the Xperia Z. This is a 1080p smartphone with a five inch display that has a number of pretty cool features. Jeremy, tell us what makes this thing so special. So some of the cool features on this guy first, before I even power on the screen, something like the omni-balance design. So very square, very kind of cool, sharp images or sharp corners on it. Um, it's a fully tempered glass front and back on the design, so very, very overall cool design. We've got a milled aluminum power button. On average, most people are hitting their power button on their device about 67 times a day to bring it in and out of standby mode. So why not make it something cool and standoffish? And also uh, something that like, just overall is really cool and easy to use. And it gives you that whole Sony look to it. Um, I don't want you to power it on quite yet. Can I, I haven't actually held this yet. But, oh, wow. So this is probably, this is actually a lighter or maybe the same weight as something like an iPhone 4, isn't it? I'd say it's probably around the same weight. Yeah, it's, it's got to be pretty close. Feels, feels actually lighter to me in spite of, as you guys can see, the significant size difference. So obviously something like a double glass uh, approach on the front and back is something we've seen before, but with the iPhone 4 it added a lot of weight and you could see that Apple went, went away from that with the iPhone 5, but because you guys are using tempered glass, you don't have to worry so much about having such a thick piece of glass then. So once I turn on the display, you're going to see that it's a beautiful 5-inch 1080p full res or high resolution or high definition, excuse me, uh, display. Um, we've got 1920 by 1080 resolution, and it's driven by the Bravia 2 engine. So the Bravia 2 engine is what's going to give you that higher contrast, better picture, better saturation, better blacks overall. Once I unlock the device, you get right into the Sony user experience or the Sony UI. You can see it's very nicely laid out, moves very, very, very fluid and very nicely. You can customize it very easily as well. If I just pinch on the screen, I've now got access to all my home screens and I can customize them however I want. So in the past, you'd have to drag and drop your apps from your, from your widget taskbar or from your app, app drawer. Now you just can click on your apps and I can simply throw them right onto my home screen. If I want to delete a home screen or add a home screen, I can simply just press the X button and it's going to get rid of that home screen for me. So tell us about the durability. So durability in terms of this device, one thing that's really, really cool with it is it's water resistant. So you can submerge it up to one Let's meter. go to the demo. Okay, let's go to the demo. <laughs> Now what I really meant was in terms of the durability, because we were planning to come and look at the water resistance demo later, but I just want to show you guys very briefly what kind of an I.O. sort of structure we have. It's got an aluminum frame all around it, so durability-wise, it should be as good as almost anything else with the tech. Yeah, abs yeah, absolutely. I mean, it's, with any smartphone, you obviously don't want to throw it off, of, off a building or anything like that, but it should be pretty durable and pretty strong for anything you're going to throw at it. I mean, I'm a huge fan of the whole glass on the front and the back thing because what I love about glass is that you got to really work at it to scratch it, whereas with plastic, if you're a Galaxy S3 owner and you're not using a case, I guarantee your phone is scratched to high hell and back. Micro SD expansion is included, and next to the power, there's just a volume rocker, but other than that, the, the design is very minimalistic. So, so yeah, your headphone jack, everything's hidden because of the water resistance. Everything's, everything's hidden underneath and it's all water sealed so that we can throw it in the water. We've got a little live demo right here. So if I press this button, it's going to dunk the phone in the water, pull it back out. You can dunk this into the water up to one meter for up to 30 minutes and then nothing's going to happen on the phone. So we're just going to wait for it to dip in one more time. You're going to see it is totally working. That is a real phone. Thank you very much, Jeremy. No this problem, guys. This was very helpful. Guys, don't miss any of our CES 2013 coverage. We are going to be here at the show all week, and make sure you are subscribed to Linus Tech Tips. Thanks for watching Linus Tech Tips at CES 2013, powered by Corsair, Seagate Technology, and Linksys.